Now let's see the history of badminton. More than 2,000 years ago, the first form of badminton was made in China as Ti Jian Zi. In 1600s, the game was called Battledore and Shuttlecock. In the mid-19th century, British India added a net and the game was called Puna. Back in England, it was called Badminton. In 1898, Mr. Percy Buckley organized the first open badminton doubles tournament at the Guilford Drill Hall. In 1899, the first All-England Championship was done. In 1934, the International Badminton Federation was founded. In 1948, the Thomas Cup was held. The Olympic Munich Games happened in 1972. In 1992, there was the Olympic Barcelona Games. Then, the Olympic Atlanta Games happened in 1996. And that is the history and timeline of badminton. Things you need are the court, the net, the racket, and the shuttlecock. Now I'm going to show you the basic skills of that. The first is the ready stand, so hold your racket like this. If you're using your left hand, you need to put your left foot forward. If you're using your right hand, you need to put the left foot forward. You need to left foot forward. And then the back of your right foot will be on the back. Next is the forehand grip and the backhand grip. So first is the forehand grip. So I hold it like you're shaking someone's hand. And it looks like this. Hold it like you're having thumbs up. And you can see this flat piece right here. That's where you put your thumb. It looks like this. Now I'm going to show you the two types of serve the backhand serve and the forehand serve. So, forehand serve, the forehand grip. Make sure the shuttle clock is facing down. Then I'll drop it and it's it. Now I'm going to show you the backhand serve. So you do the backhand grip. Like this. And then hold your shuttle clock like this. Make sure it's not close to the net. Make sure it's a little bit far. Make sure it's not touching. Then. Let's talk about the goal, rules, and how to win in badminton. The goal is to let the shuttle clock go to your opponent's court area. You also need to prevent the shuttle clock from going to your court area. You need to win two to three sets to claim victory. Each set is worth 21 points. Rally happens when you're hitting the shuttlecock back and forth until someone gets a point. The first rule is to wait for your opponent to be ready before serving. The second rule is to serve diagonally. If someone gets a point, change sides in the court. The fourth rule is, if your racket or any part of your body touches the net, your opponent gets the point. The fifth step is when the shuttlecock hits the net and lays out, your opponent gets the point. rule is all players must be inside the lines during a serve. The seventh step is when the shuttlecock lands on the lines, it's still okay. The eighth rule is underarm serves are allowed, overarm serves are not allowed. The ninth rule is, players can move around the court as they wish. The tenth rule is, players can still hit the shuttlecock from out of the play area. The eleventh rule is, only the servers can win points. The last rule is, before serving, say your score before your opponent. 2-1! To win in badminton,
the players must score two to three sets. And that is all about badminton. Bye!